So if I were to take this plastic bag and say that the space next to it is the not bag. So that's the bag and that's the not bag. Now if I were to say that this is my problem, then the space next to it is the not problem. So it's problem, not problem. And the not problem is often known as the solution. So what we're doing is we're setting up a boundary between the problem and the solution. And sometimes in life people give us bags or problems. And I could be walking around with this all day long and nobody will notice. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll get my problem out and I'll, I'll go and talk about it with my friend. So I'll just get it out there really carefully because after all it's, it's all I've got. And I'll just get it out there and I'll just open it up and have a look. And I'll see. Well, from my perspective, it could look like quite a big problem, but from your perspective, it may not look that big. If I look at it this way, then from my perspective, it's, it's not that big a problem, but from your perspective, it could look quite big, but either way, it's still the same problem. And I just think, you know what, I, I don't want to deal with this right now, so I'll just kind of go and stuff it back down there into my body, into my neurology. And I'll just be going through life. And then maybe one day, you know, something happens and I feel kind of a bit crappy about things and I'll just think, you know what, I need to kind of connect with myself a little bit. I need to give myself a bit of love. So what I'll do is I'll get my problem and I'll blow it out of all proportion. And you'll see people, and they'll be walking around in life like this. And you know, people don't often say something. It's like if somebody's got a big zit on their face, you don't say, oh, look at that. But sometimes people might say, what's the problem? And you say, what problem? I don't see any problem. But sometimes if I turn around quickly, I might notice it, and I'll think, well, as long as I move forward fast enough, achieve enough, have enough success, I don't have to know about this problem. Sometimes I might just turn around quickly and I might just notice it and I'll think, oh God, I don't have a strategy on how to deal with this now, so I'll just stuff it back down there into my, into my neurology, into my body. And you see people walking around through life like this. And I might, I might see somebody who I'd really love to connect with and I'll think, he's really nice, I'd love to connect with him, but oh, I can't because of my problem. And people will walk around in life like this missing opportunities and knocking things off in other people's lives. And they just carry on like this. And I might just think, you know what, you know what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just take this out and I'll have a look at it again. And sometimes what people do is they will let the problem get so big, but now, I am what? I am my problem. I'm inside of my problem. And I can't see outside. And what I'll do, what I'll do, I know, is that, I'll go and talk about it with my friend. That's what I'll do. I'll go every week, week after week, month after month, year after year, and I'll talk about it with my friend. That's what I'll do. Or, I know what I'll do. I'll go and get a pill. That's what I'll do. Yeah. I'll go and get a pill, that'll make it better. And sometimes what people will do is, if they've got little children, they'll get a small bag and I'll try and put it over them. Or, or I'll get a friend and I'll try and drag them into my problem because this is my model of the world. This is how I see things. And, you know, people will just carry on like this and they'll say, you know what, you don't know what it's like in here. It gets, it gets hot. It gets lonely. You know, you, you just don't know what it's like in here. I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll change. That's what I'll do. I'll change. Okay, let me change. I changed. Different day, same problem. And you see people, and they'll go through life like this, just suffocating. 
Until one day they might think, you know what? If I created this problem, maybe I can uncreate it as well. I say, let me see, let me see if there's a little, a little chink in here, a little, a little hole. Maybe I can. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Wow. It's like Alcatraz out in here, but out there, there's so many possibilities. That's really cool. Wow. And then what they'll do is they'll go to places to learn new tools. And they'll think, if I learn enough tools, I can make it better. So I'll, I'll, that's what I'll do. Oh, I'll go and learn some new tools. Oh, ah. Ah, ah, that's better. And this is where most people will stop. I know better. I know in my head intellectually that I should eat more healthily, I should exercise, I should communicate better with my family, I should pursue my dreams. And this is where most people who have learned a lot of great tools will just stop. And a lot of people who teach great tools as well will just stop. The integration comes when you re-tap into that emotional courage that you have inside. And then you can break the boundaries of the problem. But sometimes, you know, things still happen in life, make us feel crappy. And we just think, oh, I've got to do it again. I've I got to do it again. Uh, I've got to do it again. But, but I can't do it anymore. Because once you break the boundaries on the problem, the solution can permeate through. Now, this is only for plastic bags, not for human beings.